is a new creature. All things. Christ came to wipe your, your sinful past. That as you stay more in Christ, as you stay more in Christ, as you stay more in Christ, you start talking like Paul. To the Jew, I became a Jew. You say, Paul, but are you not a Jew? In Christ, neither male nor female. Paul forgot his humanity and came in touch with his divinity. Who is here with me? You know, in, in Christ, God wants, it's only, it's only God that can do this and do it in a way that you come out better. That you come out better. How does a king expand his territory? If a king has children, I've told you this before, if a king has children, his children would always be princes where the king is. You can have two kings in a kingdom. If the king wants his children, like you study the story of the king of Portugal. Uh, the king of Portugal had a son. Um, you know, there are some people in Nigeria, especially in this part, when their father is very, very rich, after a while, they are waiting for the father to die. You know, they're just, they're just no job, no nothing. They're just sitting there and looking at the man. And you know, there are some fathers that don't want to die. I think Prince Charles will know something about that. It's not a father, now it's a mother. You know, and the, the person just wanted that. The prince of Portugal could not wait for his father to die. He said, Dad, I want to be a king. The man said, you cannot be a king, I'm king. You know what he did? He said, okay, this is how you're going to be a king. He said, we've expanded our territory to another country. And that country was Brazil. So he said, now I give you Brazil. As the boy entered ship, he took him. As he landed in Brazil, he was king. King of Brazil. Because you can't be king as long as your father, as long as you are with your father. That's why this earth is yours. One day God said, uh, we are in heaven. The earth, heaven are his throne. The earth his footstool. The extension of his kingdom. I need a king. I need kings to, to handle our external territory. Then he says, let us make man in our image. After our likeness. Then he says, and let them have dominion. The word translated dominion, the Hebrew word translated dominion literally means kingdom and let them have kingdom over the earth. Do you see why you cast out devils? Let me explain something to you. Why you can cast out devils is that they are legal, illegal operators. Now you need to understand that. The devil is an illegal operator on earth. The person who is licensed to have dominion over every creeping thing is man. Oh, did you hear what I just said now? Is man. Is man. So, when Adam fell, you had problems between headquarters and the extended territories like many Africans did British people, we don't like you people anymore we want our independence Pam. the problem with independence is this, it's a great thing when you fight for it, but you have to know that being the kingdom, you were already spoiled, but you didn't know because when you are in the kingdom and you have, um, uh, you're connected to the motherland, the value of your economy doesn't come from what you have. All that comes from the motherland. The governor will just make a request and it will show up. So when you're in the kingdom, you live based on the economy of the motherland. The day you get your independence, you're also saying now, I'm cut off from the motherland. I will now begin to do things by myself. God said to Adam, the day you eat of this fruit, he says, dying, you shall surely die. Then after he died, he said, Adam, look at the problem now. 
He says, from today henceforth, he says, you, he says, you, you would only eat and prosper from the sweat of your brow. You are independent. Your economy is in your hand. You're going to sort it out. Your troubles in your head. And he said, by the way, the land is cursed for your sake. That means things are going to be really, really difficult. Happy independence, Adam. But praise be to God. <laughs> praise be to God. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away and all things have become new. Then he says, and all these new things are of God. Then Paul talking to children, he says, my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. That means once again, in this kingdom, in Christ, you are connected now to the kingdom. Now, just like the governor didn't have to look at the local economy to sort himself out. You know, something that helps you understand what I'm saying is today's system of um, um, embassies. Today's systems of embassy. The embassy of the United States of America in Nigeria, that one in Lagos, that building is not Nigeria. That land is not Nigeria. It is in Nigeria, but it's not Nigeria. If they were pursuing you and you committed a crime in Nigeria and you said, hey, running, 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 and you go to the gate and you bang, 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 then they open the gate and you just enter the gate. The Nigerian police, the Nigerian army, even the Nigerian president will stop right at that gate. They cannot touch you. In fact, you can turn around and say, Who understands what I'm saying? Because as soon as you get in there, welcome to America. You say, but you're in Nigeria. You say, no, this is not Nigeria. This is the embassy of the United States of America in Nigeria. We are in Nigeria, but we are not of Nigeria. 